Dreams are some of the most powerful things we have as human beings and as scientists. Galileo kept dropping objects of different masses. In the air, they would land at different times, but in a vacuum tube, they would land at the same time. Remarkable, right? If you add consecutive odd numbers starting with one, you always get a perfect square. Why is that? After trying this and that, you dream up the answer. If you really solve the problem, you see how different pieces of the puzzle all come together perfectly. My name is Olga Holtz. I'm a mathematician and a filmmaker. I was always intrigued by science and, and math. My parents were computer engineers. My grandfathers both were in physics. So as a kid, I would actually try any puzzle I could get hold of or baby physics experiments with magnets and electricity and all that. I was fascinated. If you're fascinated with something, you usually get good at it. So I did, gradually. And I got very fortunate to solve some open problems. That is, problems that other people tried solving and could not succeed. And I got even more fortunate to work with some very brilliant people all over the world. So together we solved more problems and got prizes and recognition. But that's not the point. The point is to dream and to make your dreams come true. I also had this exceedingly crazy dream, I suppose, of making films already as a kid. Um, I wanted to be a film director. It took me a very long time to get there, but it did happen very recently. Last year, I learned about the Berkeley Digital Film Institute and started taking directing classes there. Last month, I got to direct my first film. The genre of this film is magic realism. The main character, Ed Franklin, is a young academic who is doing very well and who thinks he has all questions figured out. He begins unraveling a mysterious disappearance of a famous British traveler in India many years ago. Strange things start happening in his own life. He encounters a crazy man and an exotic woman. Who is that mysterious woman? Why does he need to chase her? Can he reach her? What will happen if he does? So ultimately, it's about the power of dreams and the imperative to follow our dreams at all costs. Not surprisingly, the story itself actually came in a dream. Quite literally, I just woke up and I had it. It was inspired by a story of Jorge Luis Borges about the magic object that gets people obsessed, uh, the Zahir. So I decided to call my story the same, the Zahir. Just like in mathematics, I got to work with some truly amazing people. My producer, Patrick Ankuler, is amazing. He gets things done. He gets them done right and fast. And he always knows how to achieve the result that we want. Um, my director of photography, Will Green, has this amazing eye for beauty. He captures it in every shot. And he knows how to solve any cinematographic problem. So I just come to them and say, can we do this and this? And they always find a way to do it. Our production took place on the UC Berkeley campus in early February. We were granted access to film at the Doe Library, which is one of the most iconic buildings on campus. And we got some amazing outdoor shots on campus as well. And this magic, the magic of Berkeley, really shines through our film. Our entire cast created really subtle, beautiful, memorable performances. Ryder Darcy, our lead, and everybody else, Seth Ali, Jay Lawrence, Ramia Vijayan, Sarah Schoonover, all gave their best. And the entire crew working those 12 to 14 hour days in complete harmony was simply superhuman. And just like in science, all the different parts of the puzzle, the film, come together beautifully on the set. It was truly amazing. As you may have heard, a film is born three times, on paper, on set, and in the editing room. This third process of birth, our post-production, has just begun. We are asking you to be part of it, 
and to help us with this process. We got great footage and we need to do the kind of post-production that this footage deserves. We already have a rough cut which looks great in terms of actors' performances and photography. To bring it even higher up, we will invest in an additional production day. For that, we plan a series of cool shots of the protagonist chasing the woman of his dreams. These are all rather ambitious moving shots requiring special equipment. And we will get them right. We still need to do a lot more. After this last day of production, the film will go through further professional editing. It will then be sent to a post house where a professional colorist will work on color grading. It will also go through a round of visual effects and a round of high-level sound design. We are in fact currently in talks with a well-known French Lebanese composer, Ibrahim Malouf, about using some of his beautiful music for our film. Everything that I just described obviously will require a substantial investment. That's why we are asking you to be part of our project. Please go check our websites, please write us emails, please contribute to this campaign. Every contribution will be appreciated and will be acknowledged. If you cannot contribute financially at this point, please help us spread the word about this film. Talk to your family and friends and everybody you know. Please tell them about our film. We will appreciate that too very much. I hope this film will inspire you to dream and to pursue your own dreams. My favorite writer, Halder Luxness, once said, in dreams, they have the tendency to come true.